I did not wake up like this. I never wake up excited, chirpy in the morning because I'm not a morning person. But I'm on my second cup of coffee, which means I'm ready to roll. Today, I've decided to get ready, as in do my makeup for you in 10 minutes. I have showered, I have washed and dried my hair, I've decided what I'm wearing today. I've also prepped my skin, which means I have a hydrating serum and some SPF in. And I've stationed myself next to this window where I get some natural light. This is not where I do my makeup generally, but today is not a sunny day and there isn't enough light in my bathroom or near my dresser. First of all, uh, hair is too short now, as you can see. And I have to do something to keep it away from the face. help we'll start with the base I'm gonna use a translucent base because I don't want uh, to get too much coverage this is my morning look and I want to keep it fresh I use brushes for things but for the base and concealer and everything I usually use my fingers to blend if you do this like me don't forget to wash your hands or you can also use a beauty blender the concealer basically just go into all the dark spots pigmentation like this acne mark that refuses to go coverage concealer so I don't need to use a lot of product I think this should be enough I'm again you're going to just blend with my finger I don't like to go too close to the lower lid because I feel like if there's too much product under the eye it starts looking very cakey it in. I'm going to use this pressed powder and not a translucent loose powder which is what I use mostly because I'm going to be out all day and I want my makeup to be in place. Also I used a really light foundation, a thicker powder or a powder with more coverage. my eyes. I'm going to keep it simple, neutral, natural and glowy today. That's what I'm going to do. That's why I'm wearing this shirt and I just want it to look fresh and dewy. Whenever I do dark shadows, I do the eyes before I do my base. But because these are like neutral colors and I'm not going to do much, I've decided to do this first. I mean, do my foundation first. So now just taking this matte base color first and going all over the lid. this medium brown but this has got a bit of sheen so I'm just going to put it on my eyes to pop this is why you should do probably you, sh you should do your eye makeup before your base under control salvaged wasted some time I'm not going to get this done in 10 minutes and I must hurry up. Taking the darkest brown, going under the lid, which is what I had decided to do to give it some definition. And then take the same thing, go over, close to the lash line, basically where the liner goes. But I don't want any hard lines today. I just want to keep it. I am not going to do the liner. Some more of this dark brown, and maybe. Dusting off the extras again with a clean finger. I'm gonna now take a fresh brush, take the lightest color. And guys, this is really tough. It's so tough. I'm making faces. Okay, this is done. Now my favorite part, the brows. Not gonna do strong brows, just just fill in the gaps. Yeah. 
Yes, this is good. Just some powder contour, add some warmth to the face. Blush. So this pink blush instantly makes you look fresh. I love it. I in fact do a little bit extra because I know I'm going to dab my face so many times before I leave the house in fact that it's going to tone down. So a little bit extra. Yeah. Just mm, everywhere maybe take the slightest color. Do a hint of highlight. Not too much because it's daytime and it's going to shine even more out in the sun. There is no sun today though. Okay. That's it. Last but not the least. Oh wait. Oh, I'm now dropping things. I really thought 10 minutes is a lot of time. And usually it is, but it's a light coat of mascara. So one thing to do and one minute to go. I think ow, ow, ow. Really not meant to do this clearly. <laughs> but on a good day, I can do all my makeup in the car as well. Like in a moving car, which I'm quite proud of. That's cute. Okay, this is just a, a lip glow, a lip balm, a tint, you know, it's again, you can choose how much color you want. I didn't want to line my lips because I want to keep them very, very natural. It should just look like I'm wearing a balm and a hint of color as natural as possible. Last but not the least, I'm going to take this setting powder, not a setting powder, it's like a mattifying powder, the white powder, which is a great find. And I'm going to just dab it in places where I'm shining more than I want it to so that only the areas I've highlighted pop. That's it. I think I'm ready to go. Looks fresh, looks dewy, exactly what I wanted. I think it goes well with my shirt. Not bad. Okay, gotta go.